Hi, Catherine Levesque here. So, New Orleans was great. Had an awesome time. Um, we actually made a road trip out of it, and we made it from Los Angeles to New Orleans and back again in eight days. <sighs> wow, wow. And of course, you know, I mean, I had the best of intentions. I had brought two laptop computers with me. You know, if one fails, I had another uh, as a backup. Um, and I was going to work on Silver Sword because I'm right at the end of it. And it's a really hard time to travel and to take time away from what I'm doing. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to work on this in the car. You know, of course that doesn't work because, well, first of all, I get car sick really bad. <laughs> so I'm sitting in the back and I'm trying to write and, and um, yeah, that didn't, that didn't uh, go real well for, for, you know, a while there. I mean, there was one point where we went through San Antonio and, and the highways are, you know, really, you have these loops and stuff. And I feel like I was on a roller coaster, and of course, I'm back there trying to work. Oh, man, did I get car sick. It was terrible. <laughs> so, yeah, pop out the Dramamine, and then I sleep, you know, and then I get no work done. So, here I am at home the week after. I'm, I'm ready to go. Um, ready to get on Silver Sword and finish it all up. Um, it's turning out to be a lot of fun. This book is so funny. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give something away. My hero, Chad Delore. He is the son of Daniel Delore and Lisa Lutt from um, Shadowmore. Chad, Chad likes to drink, and a lot of my my most of my uh, heroes don't really drink. You know, they talk about how drinking dulls the senses, and they don't like to do it, which is true. You know, so they kind of stay on the on the wagon. They don't drink a lot. Well, Chad's kind of the opposite. He's a very serious young knight, but when he lets loose, man, it's all gone. I mean, he just lets it all go. So, so he's, he's, he does that, but he has a habit once he gets drunk of dropping his pants and like mooning everybody. So throughout the novel, whatever he drinks, he's mooning, he's mooning people. And, and here's, here's his, his, you know, love interest. And, and she's watching all of this and, um, thinking, what the hell is going on here? You know, every time this guy gets some drinks in him, he's dropping his he's dropping his shorts. So it's really very funny. Um, so I've had some really good times um, with these scenes, um, with these guys just relaxing because so often in my books um, the scenes are serious and the and and these guys are being very serious. They're facing death, you know, uh, brotherhood, all that stuff. Well. This book has a little more levity in it and a little more relaxation. And, and we have Davis De Winter in it. He's in it briefly, not a lot. Um, the Lords of Thunder are in it quite a bit. Um, Gallus, Tiberius, and Maximus, they're in it quite a bit. Um, then we have Daniel Delore, who's in it quite a bit. Um, Bo's de Moray's in it. Um, this, is, this is an interesting book because this may actually turn the tides of who these great families serve because we always know that De Winter serves the crown period what it doesn't matter you know who's who's on the on the on the throne De Winters serve the crown you've got the Lords of Thunder they do not serve the crown you know they have been a huge supporter of Simon de Montfort and by the time this book takes place Simon has been killed so now they're essentially rebels in their in their own um, country and um, because they, they refuse to serve Henry. Henry wants them to serve him very bad. Then you have Chad, who's our her hero, and he's kind of caught up in this because the Dolores, as we know, always serve the crown, period. That's that's just what they do. But Chad has fallen in love with the Deshera. So now Daniel Delore and his cousin Curtis, who is Christopher Delore's eldest son, and actually Curtis is going to have uh, his own book here pretty quickly, um, Curtis is now the Earl of Worcester, and Daniel is the Earl of Canterbury in this because Christopher and David have, have, have long passed away. So you've got these two guys, and it's like, okay, you know Daniel is not going to go against his son, and his son's in love with the Deshera, and the Desheras are not going to support Henry. So we've really got the potential here to reshape the future of these families and the future of any novels I do with them. So this is a pivotal book, and it's something that I really hope that you will you will um, pick up a copy and read and love, um, because I'm really like I said I'm having a good time writing it, and it's and I think it's an important novel in the history and in the series of not only the Delores but the Desheras, the De Mores, the De Winters. So it's kind of a kind of a pivotal book. So anyway, I'm back from my holiday, and I am getting ready to 
finish this book and get it out to you. And I sincerely hope you love it. So thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. Thank you for loving what I do. And um, I'm so, so grateful for you. I really am. So thanks a lot and see you the next time.